The name of this program is the American Eel Young of the Year Monitoring Program. The goal is to address recruitment of the juveniles, the Young of the Year, which is the one-year-olds or less. In the mid-90s, commercial landings declined and other wildlife management agency personnel throughout the North America noticed that there were declines in abundance of yellow phase eel, that's the juveniles that live in the freshwater and, and estuarine systems, ponds and streams. And so they went to do a stock assessment under the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission. And to do that stock assessment, we need lots of different data types and sources. And one of the things that we were missing was an estimate of the recruitment of the young in years. It's a pretty complex life history. It's different from most of the other fishes that, you, that people are familiar with. Uh, the adults spawn in the Sargasso Sea, which is in the middle of the North Atlantic subtropical gyre. And the eggs hatch into what's called a leptocephalus larva. It's a transparent larva. It's leaf-shaped, long ribbon. And those persist in the plankton in the North Atlantic for up to 9 to 12 months. And at some point, there's a trigger that causes them to metamorphose the glass stage, which is what we're monitoring here. And that's a crystal clear looking and looks exactly like an eel. And those swim onto the continental shelf and invade all the streams, rivers, and estuaries along the coast. Once they get in the coastal waters, they will invade freshwater habitats, lakes, streams, ponds. Some will remain in lower salinity portions of estuaries. In these habitats, they're major predators, top level predators. When they first enter as glass eels, they're unpigmented and they'll start accruing pigmentation as they develop within the probably about a first year, they'll be considered elvers, and then once they're a little bit older, they'll get a yellow sort of hinge in the underbelly, and that's the yellow phase. And the eels will spend most of their time as yellow phase eels in these systems. That can be anywhere from six to, to 20 plus years before they reach sexual maturity. And when they reach sexual maturity, they'll start swimming out and they'll undergo another metamorphosis. They'll have different uh, configurations. Their eyes will change shape slightly, their fins will change shape, and they'll go into a silvering phase. Those are the silver phase eels. And those are the maturing adults that swim off into the, into the Sargasso Sea to start the cycle over. What we did here at, at this particular location is we're looking at the movement of the glass eel stage young of year into a freshwater habitat, and we have a, a dam that they have to go through. Um, what we did with the trap design is it's called an Irish elver ramp or Irish eel ramp and that creates a tractant flow which is a lower flow area that the eels can actually swim up uh, against versus the, the higher flow that was coming over the dam. So we created a, an area that's attracted to them so they swim up into our trap thinking that they're getting over the dam into the freshwater habitat and so we sort of concentrate them in one area and it's easier, easier for us to catch them. And then we basically counted them. Um, instead of counting those probably close to seven or 8,000 eels, we did a subsample and expand that up to that total number that we captured by volume. We do that at different sites in Virginia. We do at this station, we have one other on the York River, one on the James, and we have stations up on the Rappahannock River and two on the Potomac River to monitor the, the recruitment among those different sites. Barriers to passage, dams and culverts and those sorts of things have restricted their, their uh, dispersal into freshwater habitats. There's disease. Uh, North American eel have a swim bladder parasite. We believe that's affecting the adult migration possibility and certainly affecting their, their health when they're in the, the freshwater systems. Uh, there's pollution, uh, fishing practices, both recreational and commercial harvest is all on pre-spawning adults. It's all in the juvenile stages and not allowing those fish to, to reproduce. As well as shifts in climate and currents on offshore may affect the recruitment and ability to find freshwater habitats. Having uh, data on these species is rather challenging. Anecdotal information from commercial landings brought the different management agencies together to try and figure out what was actually going on with the yellow phase eel and American eel in, in, in our continent. They ended up uh, with a fishery management plan that was approved in 1999 to gather more information because it believed there's a much larger scale phenomena that was occurring. In fact, decline of eel is, is a global phenomenon.